Ever wonder why your cat is so obsessed with boxes? It's more than just a cozy spot. It's instinct, science, and a little mystery. Let's find out why. <coughs> Hi everyone, I am Dr. Osk. Have you ever thought about why your cat loves to sit and play in that cardboard box? To us, it's just a cardboard box. But to your cat, it's a fortress, a playground, a cozy retreat, all in one. Now the main reason is instinct. That cardboard box allows your cat to both hunt and avoid being hunted. Cats are ambush predators. That cardboard box gives your cat the security they need to sneak attack their prey from a hidden location. Unfortunately, this day and age with our indoor only cats, the prey has now become your foot, your leg, and their furry housemate. Since cats are small, they were subject to predation from larger animals in the wild. A cardboard box can serve as a place to hide from a threat and allow them to survey their surroundings for any possible danger, such as a human trying to bring them to the vet. Now, since cats sleep for many hours in a day, they need a safe, secure area where they can rest without the threat of being attacked. A cardboard box can fulfill this requirement and serve as a safe den. Another cat instinct is scratching and rubbing. Cats have scent glands in their paws and their face that is used to mark their territory and communicate with other cats. Scratching, shredding, and rubbing on that cardboard satisfies their sensory needs and marks it as their own. Simply sitting in a box that a cat has marked as their own with their pheromones may help reduce their stress. More on that in a little bit. Along those same lines, in case you weren't aware, your cat has marked you. Every time they rub on you, they are scent marking you with their pheromones and claiming you as their human. Being curious is part of being a cat. A cardboard box offers something new with different smells and different textures, providing your cat with a source of entertainment and mental stimulation. Most cats will walk right over to a new box to investigate. They'll sit on it, jump in and out of it, chew on the corners. And since it's new, your cat will want to claim it as their own with their scent glands, making it part of their domain. That's just what cats do. Cats core body temperature is higher than humans and they may prefer warmer environments. Your average household temperature of 70 degrees may not be warm enough for some cats. Some people suggest that cats are more comfortable at temperatures 15 to 20 degrees higher. So if you see your cat lounging around in a cardboard box, they may be using it for warmth. Cardboard can act as an insulation, trapping your cat's body heat, especially if they're curled up in a ball with a blanket. Before we continue and get to the really interesting stuff, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss anything cat related. And let me know what you think by liking this video and leaving a comment. Now, cats are not known to discuss their problems. They're not talking through their issues to find some resolution. Cats don't like confrontation. Instead, they would much rather run away from their problems. So that cardboard box may actually be your cat's anti-anxiety remedy. The close confines of that box may make your cat feel less stressed and feel calmer. Now, here's an interesting thing. One Dutch study looked at new cats entering a shelter. Some of those cats they gave a cardboard box to, others they did not. The study suggests that new cats entering the shelter that received a cardboard box were able to adapt to the new environment faster and deal with their stress better than the new cats entering the same shelter without a cardboard box. Now that's pretty amazing. So here's where it starts to get a little bizarre. Cats seem to respond in a similar fashion to the outline of a square taped on the floor. You heard me correctly. Cats respond in a similar way to a 2D square taped on the floor as they would a 3D box. Just search hashtag cat square. Now cats responded to both a 2D square taped on the floor and a Kinesia square. As illustrated here, a Kinesia square is an optical illusion. We are using shapes to give the impression a square exists when one actually does not. So I am always saying cats don't get the recognition they deserve. They see, experience, and respond to the world differently from us humans. However, this study, which is appropriately named If I Fits, I Sits, suggests cats are thinking in a similar fashion to us humans. Their love of boxes is the only difference. Now we're still trying to figure out cat cognition and what they're actually seeing with these visual illusions. There's a few theories out there, but nothing definitive just yet. One could say we haven't cracked the cat cardboard code just yet, but this is still very interesting. One thing we can safely conclude is cats love squares and boxes, whether they are 2D, 3D, or imaginary. 
And this doesn't apply just to boxes. Cats will apply the if I fits, I sits cat logic to anything they deem safe and secure. And finally, cardboard boxes are not just for our domesticated house cats. We see similar behaviors in our big cats in zoos and wildlife preserves when they are given a cardboard box. The big take home message here is don't recycle that cardboard box right away after ordering something online. Your cat's happiness and well being are at stake. And now, here is your cat fact. Cats cannot taste sweetness. Since they are carnivores, they have no need to taste anything sweet. But did cats ever have the ability to taste sweet things? Or did they have it but lost it because they only eat meat? You might be wondering, why does my cat try to eat ice cream even though they can't taste sugar? They're probably attracted to the fat in the ice cream more than the sugar in it.